Hey, what's up guys? Um, in this lesson I'm just going to show you how you can model the human brain. Um, basically just a rough model of a human brain. I wouldn't recommend using this for um, medical use if you're trying to be accurate enough. But um, so anyway, in my scene here, I just have a reference image of a human brain on the side. Uh, the top's pretty basic, uh, you can see here. So um, anyway, to start off I'm just going to drop in a polygon sphere if I can find it there we go and I'm just gonna drop a lattice around the sphere and try and shape it into the shape of the brain if I can ever find this uh, lattice let's go into my settings here alright so we have four four and four pretty basic uh, that should work create that lattice and Select my lattice points. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go into my side view here. Start shaping it up. I'm not gonna worry about the medulla, whatever the hell that's called, for now. But um, yeah, you know, drag this these points around, get them into place, whatever you want. Might need a few more points actually underestimated but um yeah I'm just basically forming the brain let's see okay. let's see if we can get um x-ray this way we can see how the brain looks behind it all right I mean, this isn't exact. I suggest you add more divisions to your lattice points, but I'm just trying to give you some basic tips here. Um, let's keep shaping this up here. Uh, don't worry about that after. All right, you can have the indent if you want. I'm not going to do that for now. Um, Basically, this should be flat, so you can match it up with the other guy, the other half of the brain. Uh, all right, that's fine for now. Um, just select your object, get this lattice off of it. Uh, just go up to File, well, Edit, Delete by Type, History, and your lattice is gone. You don't have to worry about that. So we have the basic shape of one half of the brain. And now in order to get all these little tubes and stuff, um, this is just a kind of shortcut method. You can use it if you want. Just go to your rendering, um, paint effects, and make this object paintable. Now I'm just going to go to get brush. And I'm going to use one of the flesh brushes. Uh, most of these work. Just select smooth, uh, yeah, smooth skin. And basically, I'm just going to start um, painting however so um, all the tubes on the brain. You can do it however you like. Um, follow a reference image, perhaps. Um, tubes aren't exact, so just keep going. Uh, you can even edit the stroke shape if you don't want the tube so thick um, maybe come around here if you want that um, I'm just giving you the basic ideas you can perfect this how you want it but um, yeah this is basically what I did for one of my compositing exercises uh, keep going don't really need the middle half unless I don't know you want it but um yeah so most of the tubes are in place I'm just gonna select all these uh, all the tubes are selected and I'm gonna convert these to a polygon this way I can duplicate them convert they're gonna be a paint effects to polygon I believe 
but you can check out how it looks rendered out. It actually looks pretty good, just the paint effects. Uh, you can even add your own material to it. So if I select all these, um, add whatever brain material you want, such as a blend. And so I'm just going to combine all these by, um, hold up, polygons, mesh, combine. So now they're one object. And I'm just going to duplicate this brain and translate it negative one in the Z. Uh, that's wrong. Let's, sorry, not translate, uh, scale negative one into Z. Yeah, and you can move this over a little bit. So, basically there you have it, a rough model of the brain. You can do it however you want. Um, that's basically all I got for you today. Uh, I'd like to see you post some brains, maybe as a video response to this if you want. Uh, thanks, guys.